Hey guys, in today's video we'll have a guide explaining what you should do as a new player and all the information that you need. First of all about your units. This is very important. Do not waste any honor on unnecessary units. Your goal should be to unlock the golden era as fast as possible. To that end, you need as of now for the season 2 4.5 star units the viable and useful units you can get for 4.5 stars are harbaldir surgeons get them ACB then you need Kriegsrat fusiliers get them ACB as well then you have another 4.5 star units that's gonna be useful, Dagger Axe Lancers, get them ASAP. And also you need the Vassal Longbowmen, which are also a 4.5 star units. You also need to get them ASAP. Once you have unlocked these 4.5 star units, the cheapest way to get what you need, that is to say the end game content being one golden era cavalry and one infantry that's golden era, your first choice would be Firelands Cavalry, simply because it is the cheapest and easiest golden era unit that you can play. Once you have your Firelands Cavalry, you will have a Golden Era Cavalry. Then you have two choices. Either you can go the cheap route and unlock Tercio Archibusiers, that you have all, since you already own Kriegs Red Fusiliers, they'll be quite cheap. And that way you'll have two Golden Era strong units, one being infantry and the other being cavalry, which is what the endgame meta is about. If you really don't want the Tertiary Archibusiers, you have an alternative which is more expensive, the Iron Reapers. However, I strongly recommend getting as fast as possible your Firelands Cavalry, then simply getting the Tertiary Archibusiers. Even if they not seem to be a good, in a good spot, they're the best, most efficient way to unlock two strong golden era units that you can then farm up to level 30. If you don't want to unlock the Firelands Cavalry first, which I recommend unlocking simply it's because it's the cheapest and with these 4.5 star units being uh, making them obtainable easily can also get tertiary cubusers which are another cheap function you can get. You must make sure you do not waste any honor anywhere that you don't need. If you for instance I explain Silver Era asks two stars that are three point five star units, right? For instance this one is three star unit, you don't need it, don't get it. This one is 3.5 unit, but uh, it's useless since you're not gonna use this one. For instance, the Vassal Blong Bowman. They are 3.5 star, right? This guy is 2 star unit. This guy is 3 star unit. So you don't unlock them. This guy, the Mesnir Archibusiers, you're gonna need them to unlock Kriegs Red Fizzed Years. So you definitely need to unlock them. 3.5 star unit. Then you have the Halberdier that you're gonna need. You also need to unlock them since you're gonna need the Halberdier Surgeons. 3.5 star unit. And it asks for one more 3.5 star unit. So you check what you can get. This guy is only 3 star so don't get him. Even if it's a good standalone unit.
and uh, you see these Timizinis Spearmen. Yes, Timizinis Spearmen. Although I said do not unlock any Chivalric Era, I suppose you need to Timizinis Spearmen to unlock. Oh, never mind, it's 2.5. Didn't say anything. Well, there's not much of a choice here. I'm just trying to find the third 3.5 star unit, but they're really rare it seems. So this is one. Ah, here we go, finally found one. That's not garbage. You get the Prefecture Guards, Halberdiers. The Mesnearchy Buziers And you have 3 stars of 3.5 star units to unlock your heroic era then you get Halberdier Surgeons, Vassal Longbowmen, Daggerax Lancers, and Kriegs Red Fizzidiers, and you can unlock your Golden Ear. Then you can get Fireland Scalery, since you have all the prerequisites mostly, and Tercios, since you have Kriegs Red Fizzidiers, it will be quite cheaper. Other than that, as soon as you have your Fireland Scaly, you can just skip Tercio and just farm for Iron Reapers, which is another more expensive route, but also a viable one, and a stronger one. That's it for the units. Next we'll take a look at the, the weekly quests. In these quests, you need to make sure you get your 4 150 points and get uh, these loot boxes, basically, which where you see 600 honor, 400 honor, 250, and 100, which is important because honor is capped weekly, so you need to get all the honor you can. And you have some quests such as win 9 siege battles and field battles that give you honor as well, these chests. Then you have the rebel camps which are in the open world, you will find them randomly. There are 3 difficulties and you can clear them with a premade of 3 minimum group. Recommended to take 5, you should all do. There is a strategy, you just uh, Need two shield units to close the entrances where the boats spawn and uh, just uh, capture the point only afterwards. And you keep going like this. The hard difficulty may be too difficult for a low level, so but you should be able to clear the middle and easy difficulty without an issue. As long as you have a pre-made that follows you where you and follows the strategy. That's it for the weekly quests. So by doing these quests you unlock these and uh, get a lot of honor. Next uh, is the simplest way to get honor, you just play and you earn honor. There's a 20,000 limit, so you just make sure you spam a field battle or siege battle, whatever you prefer and try to get uh, the weekly cap reached and uh, to that end it is recommended to have a premium account and if possible a premium unit you need only one premium unit which you unlock with silver or uh, sovereigns that is to say real currency the black dragon archers are the cheapest and the viable option so I recommend to take them if you need a more expensive option, Black Dragon Javelins are also okay. Next, we have the Thief Quests, another important aspect of the game. When you click on the map and you click a city, 
depending on the level of statistics, it will have youth quests. Right now everything is AE controlled, so you can farm resources easily and give what you need to do. Basically you just venture out. Uh, it is recommended to get 5 serves, which are these guys. And try to unlock uh, them to level 7. In which case they will increase collected resources by 20%. Otherwise, you can just unlock five of them since they stack into open world and just venture around and gather resources, which is also viable. If a resource is completed or you want to farm it more, you can use requisition tokens that you get from quests basically, which will ignore uh, the depleted resources, for instance, if there are zero resources like here exhausted. You can farm them. Uh, but you will get twice less than you would if there were reserves left. For instance, here we have reserves. And uh, with requisition tokens, you can do this on an unlimited amount of time. However, these resources are only useful for either selling on the auction, but usually people will only buy what they need to do thief quest, so make sure it's relevant. And right now the best thief quests are 3 stars since everything is low level. So make sure you do these thief quests that are at least 3 stars and the weekly limit is 20 quests. So you just venture out with the resources you gathered, grab them from your storage and just go do the thief quest. You move towards the village or city, you click overview, you click thief quests, you click this and you click complete quest. You will have to have these things. Here the other rewards are is only if your house occupies the city which is impossible right now because everything is locked for the eye since this is season 2. But it is still very useful to do these quests because you will get additional honor. About 600 or something so. Which will unlock, allow you to unlock units faster. Do not unlock unnecessary units that you do not require and make sure you don't unlock these upgrades either, they are very expensive and useless since the golden era units are the best, simply put. Chivalric and red time resistance tree lines you can completely ignore them simply because these monastic knights are useless and while the Rattan Rangers are very good, there are no 4.5 star units in the Rattan line, so you will not be able to rush them as you would the Firelands Cavalry and Tertiary Arquebusiers. Once you have these two units, Firelands Cavalry and Tertiary Arquebusiers, obviously you can farm the rest, which will be easy now that their costs have been reduced. And you will be competitive. If you follow my advice, you will have the strongest units on the Ramones and be able to compete with the highest levels while being low level yourself. It's all about diligently playing, grinding and making sure you don't waste anything. Now, I have omitted the fact that you need skill books to unlock your ultimate skills and they can be bought on the market or farms through weekly quests. They can also be dropped from loot in the open world. But I don't recommend doing that because it uh, it is very rare. And uh, you will get them from doing your weekly quests. Some of them give them, like deathmatch one. Or was it, or did they change it? No, the free battles one for instance gives one book but it's random, so it's better if possible you just get some silver and buy the books since they're not that expensive. Get silver by doing quests, rebel camps, etc. Also by setting your resources on the auction house. Now that I think about it, I have not explained how the auction house works. For instance here, you click buy or sell, you can sell stuff you can sell or you can sell your resources and people will buy it if they need it 
there are some prices you can set up for instance here your camp I have the 450 horses and this is a suggested price what you can do is compare with what others are selling and uh, try to get less than them but uh, if there's an overabundance of resources uh, you have less chance of the yours being bought but it's still a good additional amount of money the priority being for the resources to use them to do your thief quests you can sell the excess that you don't need and try to get some silver along the way books mostly cost 5000 silver so you Next about the house system, basically you, you, you spawn in a, a region, you can only ho join a house that's in your region, for instance my house in this Toronvaros on Greja, so I need to spawn here to join it, and to find it, for instance you type Kingsbane with a capital K, make, make sure it's uh, properly typed, you click on it and click uh, apply. Usually what people do is put some house announcement and if they ask for discord it means they will not recruit without discord. If they don't write anything maybe they will contact you or it's an inactive house. And uh, usually active houses write in war chat that they're recruiting and uh, you can make up your mind about which house you want to join. Speaking about my house Kingsbane, you can apply on UW server. The requirements are simple, you must have Discord and join the channel and you can apply no problem. Then it's all about being an active player, which means you play weekly, unless you're on vacation or something and you have one beforehand that you cannot play for an extended period of time. that's it for the guide here then uh, this is useless don't do it unless you're forced to these are good for farming the honor and your quests territory wars are uh, unavailable for now and expeditions are for doing your weekly quests if necessary and as well as a good way to farm uh, some uh, money and uh, unit xp They're also relatively easy except for the 61, so don't be shy to do them if you want. Now this icon here, it means uh, that the matchmaking is cross-server, so you may be matched with people on other servers. So don't be surprised if you find people that are not with you. There are also many bots at the lower levels. So, if you see people with human names but who act weirdly, they're just bots. Don't be scared, as you level up, you will find more and more humans. It's just that low levels have no real active population since they farm too fast. And uh, there may be bots to replace human players. But at the higher levels, it's not an issue. Until you get level 60, I recommend just ignoring everything and just spamming field battles and uh, should get 60 in no, in no time. Siege battles also work but you get matched with bots as well. So whatever works best for you. You should not think about anything, I just try to rush level 60 then you can follow my steps and uh, focus on farming corner and your ultimate skill. About the gear, how to get uh, better gear, it's simple, you need to craft it and to require some schematics, but uh, other than that you can buy it from the auction or you can craft it as well. And at higher levels it can randomly drop with a rare chance from just playing. It is recommended not to buy the purple weapons, but instead craft them.
For instance, here you can grab this weapon. You get the rivets by salvaging horse equipment, which is quite cheap. For instance, here you run to the horse seller, you grab some cheap stuff, and you can salvage it for a chance to get rivets and fastness. Just what you need to craft proper gear. Click on salvage, confirm and you got some resources otherwise they can be farmed from quests etc it is recommended to try to get uh, this uh, schematic for whatever weapon you want it's usually dropped from quests so just pick, pick your weapon of choice and just crack these craft these if not possible you can just craft a thunder or a and speed 5 on level 20 uh, the good thing about crafting these kinds of weapons is that they get additional statistics. For instance, here I got blunt damage plus 97, which is why it is recommended to craft your weapons and not buy them. You can also buy crafted weapons when they don't use bound equipment material to craft them and get the additional bonuses but usually when it's a good weapon it's very expensive so it's better to craft yourself that's it for everything you should know and get started for the season 2 you can check out my other videos on explanations how the battle pass works etc have a nice day have uh, fun in the season 2 and don't be shy to get back into Conqueror's Braid right now because the grind has been lessened by a lot and now is a good time to jump back in. If you need a house, don't be shy and apply to my house King's Bane. As I have said previously, the only requirement is Discord. And being an active player. Thanks for watching, I hope this video has been helpful. Drop a like, a subscribe and a comment in the commentaries if you have more questions. I'll just say hello. It's been a pleasure making this guide for you guys. I hope to see you successful and strong in Conqueror's Blade, if possible, under my command. Bye.